stretch here. Uh, in today's video, we're going to check out Gamer Hacks Exploit page. So we'll get right into that there. If you like the channel, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe for future videos. I'm going to try to make videos a lot more often now that uh, I have a capture card. I can get in here and get stuff done. So, with this, I don't have debug settings, and we're just going to jump up to network and enable our internet. Okay, and we're going to close that initial page that loads up. Uh, previous pages, I do have uh, gamer hack here, but we're going to delete all that and start from scratch. So, we'll just delete everything. And we'll go to our settings and delete our cookies as well as our website data. Okay, we'll go to bookmarks and we'll go to gamer hack. Load it up and we'll wait for the cache to install. We'll be using gold and hen 1.1 once we get going here. I've also noticed, okay let's just see here. Okay, and it's installed, and we can close our browser and disable the internet. So I've noticed that it does suffer the controller drift error message. So for this video, I will be turning off the controller each time. I know it's a very painful process, but uh, I've tried multiple times to make this video, and it either keeps on crash. Well, if I don't turn off the controller, I get the error, and it crashes for me so I'm gonna play it safe for this video and we're just going to turn off the controller each time it does have a temporary fix for CE30391-6 I'm not sure exactly what that error is but uh, if you do know leave it down in the comment and uh, let everybody else know okay so we're gonna launch it I'm just gonna hold in my PlayStation button go to sound and devices and turn off the controller and usually for this process, I leave the controller turned off the whole process once it gets going through. Like, I'll turn it back on, and then same thing, turn it off. Okay, we'll turn it back on. Turn off the controller. controller and then turn it back off. I'm not sure exactly what causes this drift error. I know Derek Modders, host site, he, he never has that issue. I can leave the controller on all the time and it always works. So if you guys know what the, the problem is, it's got to be something with the code or the way it loads. If you guys do know, let us know. Okay, so my controller's off. Looks like we're going through now. Um, like I said before, we'll leave the controller off for the whole process. I'll wait for the message to pop up saying jailbroke successfully or all done or whichever message comes up. Okay, we went through all that. Now we'll just wait for client. And there's our waiting for client message. And we're all set. So now at this point, I will turn on the controller and I just usually just go to close the internet browser. And... Uh, from there, we'll go. So it's Golden Hen 1.1. Load it. And we'll go to our settings and we'll check to see if our debug settings are there. And there are. Everything is there as normal. Okay. So we'll wait for the lock button to disappear. Okay, and it's starting to disappear on some of them. And it just seems like it works from the back and it comes forward. Is that the way it works? Okay, everything is done. So let's give it a test here. We're gonna launch Horizon. I know it'll work exactly the same because uh, it is the same exploit file, bin file. But we'll give it a go here, and so you can see, you might not be familiar with the other ones. Okay, and we'll launch this up. And then we'll just go ahead of it and we'll go to power and we'll enter rest mode. 
Now you will only see a black screen, but I will let you know when we're good to go. We'll wait for the light to turn amber and then fully go solid. It is currently blinking now, but we'll wait for it to go amber. Okay, just turned amber now, but it's still pulsing. We'll just wait for that to go solid and we'll launch it and we'll see if everything works the same. Okay, so it went solid there. I'm just going to hit the power button on the controller just to, to launch it. And we got a blue light now, and it seems like it's booting up. Okay, and there's our loading screen coming in now. Launch go stretch. Okay, and we're back into the game here, and we'll check out to see if our horizon's still loaded. It is. Okay, we'll close that out and we'll check to see if our debug settings are still active. And they are. Okay, so if you like this stream, uh, please leave a like. Comment down below if you know what the controller drift error is, uh, what's causing it, why it doesn't always go, or even with dark waters, it never goes, you never get that error. Um, if there's a quick fix for it or not, and if you know what that uh, CE error was all about. And I will see you in the next video.